All right, everyone, we are going to take a look at Orca. So I got a new chart on Orca that has more price history uh, just because I like to see things on the macro scale. And this tells a better story here. So it got right above from the high back in September of 2021 to the low right over the 618. But then it's coming right back down as we speak here. So you can see the 618 here and then your 0.5. That is the reason for the green box, by the way. If we go down to the three-day chart, the top of the green box is your 0.5 on that macro scale. So keeping it real simple on Orca, the last update, we had a couple of boxes on the chart. I believe we broke that green support box from that last update. So going here from the low to the high on the three-day candles on Orca, 236 bounce, and then now we are falling below that support at about 4 37 so it looks like we're coming down here to the low to the high three to at 280 and this green box is going to be your price to hold if you can hold this you are still bullish if you break through it then we got a much deeper retracement on our hands so potentially right now it looks like orca is still going to drop about another 29 30 percent here down to the 382 and down to your 0.5 on that macro scale so anywhere from about 280 up to what is that 322 or so uh that is going to be your support box to watch as long as you hold this box either the top bottom or in the middle uh you are still considered bullish here and then we'll see where this thing goes from there but yeah right now that's really all we got on orca the momentum is clearly down the stock rsi is starting to fall off the table here and if we look at the Heikinashi candles are printing larger red for the second day, no shadow. So that tells us that trend is getting stronger uh, as the days go by here. So yeah, it looks like our red box down here is in play on Orca. So good luck, not financial advice, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.